Oh yeah, that smells really good. Mmm. That's really nice. That's really yummy. Yes, I'm really looking forward to that. Hi everyone and welcome back to Beauty's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name's Alexis and in today's video I want to share with you how to make my delicious herby chicken burgers. As I just mentioned, today I want to share with you how to make my delicious herby chicken burgers. Now this recipe is really easy to do and these are a brilliant burger for the summer. You can cook these on the barbecue or you can cook them in the oven and because they have so many delicious herbs in them, they're really aromatic, aromatic? aromatic I think that's the word um, so they smell really nice when they're cooking so I have laid out all my ingredients and what I'm going to do is I am going to put them into this bowl so in this bowl I have about 500 grams of a turkey mince you can use chicken or turkey mince either is okay and then to that I am going to add an onion that I've just simply peeled, sliced and diced. So I'm going to just pop that into my bowl. And then I have one carrot here that I have peeled and grated. Um, the reason I add vegetables to my burgers is be simply because my husband and son aren't really big vegetable fans, I have to say. So I kind of play hide the vegetables a lot. And burgers is a great place to hide vegetables. So if you have any fussy eaters in your house and you can't get carrot into them, then a burger is a great place to hide that, especially in a beef burger, because I can't see the orange in it either. Um, and then to that, I'm going to add some herbs. So here I have some rosemary, some thyme, some oregano and some lemon balm. In the original recipe, instead of the oregano or oregano, depending on which cantonment you're standing, um, I used parsley, but I decided on oregano today because I've got some growing in the garden. I've actually made myself a little herb box this year. I'm really proud of it. So I wanted to use the oregano in this recipe. So I have just simply picked those, washed them a little bit, and then just chopped them up and made them into tiny little pieces that I'm going to add to this bowl. And then to that, I'm going to add some uh, ground almond flour. You will need ground almond flour, or you could use breadcrumbs if you wanted to. It is fine. So I'm just going to add about two, I think I'm going to do three heaped tablespoons. I think I said two to four tablespoons of ground almond flour or breadcrumbs. And then I'm going to add to that some tamari. In the original recipe, I said tomato puree. I don't have any tomato puree today, so to add a little bit more flavour to this and to bring out the flavour of the herbs as well, I'm going to add tamari. Tomato puree will probably do the same thing as well. So I'm just going to add one tablespoon of that to the mixture. And then, of course, I'm going to use salt and pepper. So salt and pepper to your taste. I have a little boy, so I don't like to use too much, but just enough to flavour the meat, basically. And then I'm just going to put a bit of pepper on there as well, like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go and dampen my hands, and then I will make these into the burgers. I've dampened my hands, and now I'm just going to scrunch all of these ingredients together until I form like one big dough and everything is well mixed in, like so. I think I'm getting there now. And then I'll go and dampen my hands again because some bits have got stuck. By dampening your hands, it stops the, a lot of the meat from sticking, a lot of the mixture from sticking to you. So, um, so yeah, that's why I always like to dampen my hands before I put my hands in the bowl. So I'm just going to go and wash my hands again and then I'll make those into the burgers. So I've dampened my hands once more and now what I'm going to do is I am going to split the mixture into four like so and then I'm going to make these into little burger patties or bur burgers. We don't really call it patties in the UK. I think that's an American thing to be honest. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flatten them down. I'm going to put them on the plate and then I'm just going to put a dimple in the middle and that will help the burger to not rise too much. Um, I want my burgers quite flat so that they cook evenly when they're in the oven. So I'll just show you again. I'm just going to flatten this 
into a burger shape and then I'm going to put a little dimple in the middle and that will help it to stop rising and hopefully make the burgers cook beautifully and evenly as well which is what we want. As always I'm off to put these into the fridge for a good couple of hours before I cook them off. By putting them into the fridge you make the burgers go more solid so when you put them onto a hot barbecue or a hot baking tray in the oven or a hot frying pan it will hopefully penetrate the meat and make it more juicy so that's why I'm off to put these into the fridge. It's almost dinner time in our house so what I'm going to do is I'm going to preheat my oven to 200 degrees. The burgers have been in the fridge for a good couple of hours and they're quite solid and I have put them onto this warm baking tray so when I decided to preheat the oven I also put in this baking tray this is a pampered chef stoneware baking tray so it doesn't need any extra oil on it and yes it does look this dirty but it does cook the food really evenly and beautifully as well so if you need to please oil your baking tray before you put it in the oven so I'm going to put this into the oven now for about 25 to 30 minutes or until the burgers go a lovely golden brown colour. As you can see the burgers are a lovely golden brown colour so I'm going to serve these up with some chips which I have cooking underneath and that will be our dinner done. I can smell the herbs in the kitchen and I just have to try a little bit before I go and finish this meal off but it does smell really nice in here I have to say so I'm just going to try a little bit of the burger with that. Oh yeah that smells really good. Mmm. That's really nice. That's really yummy. Yes, I'm really looking forward to that. My dinner this evening. That's how you make my delicious herby chicken burgers and that recipe I will link in the description box below for you. As I mentioned earlier, we're going to be having this for our dinner this evening and it smells and tasted so good, I can't wait. So for now, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to leave any comments below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.